Aloha, this is Pipeline Audio for Kailua Music School, and today I'm going to show you a cheap and easy way to shield your electric guitar. So you're going to need a couple things. The tools to take off your knobs and probably pull out your pickups and take off your electronic cavities, all that sort of stuff. So basic screwdrivers and pliers and things. Probably going to want a soldering iron so you can pull everything apart. The main supply that I found for this, and it works really well, is this Cory's Slug and Snail Guard. Um, you can get it at a hardware store, it's really cheap, I think it was about 5 bucks in Hawaii, and so it's probably a lot cheaper where you're at. This is self-adhesive copper foil, and you can solder right to it, and you can be sure that you actually made a connection there. So the point of shielding the guitar more is uh, to block some of that electronic interference that you're getting. I mean, we got computers, we got all kinds of junk making noise, just sending all kinds of garbage through your pickups. And especially if you're playing really high gain, that stuff comes right out through your amp. So we're trying to minimize it as much as you can by properly shielding the guitar. A lot of guitars now come with uh, shielding paint in all the cavities, and that seems to work pretty well. but I don't like it as much because I can't solder to it and I can never be completely sure that I'm actually covering the areas that I'm covering. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take apart the guitar, take the knobs off, uh, take the cavity covers off, and try and get everything out of the guitar so that I can lay down a, a row of shielding everywhere. And I'm going to tie all that shielding together with ground straps. When you get to your main electronic controls, you might want to label them and tape them off the way I did here. Desolder them from the jacks, pull everything out. Once you've got the electronics out of the way and all the wires out, um, just start peeling off strips of tape and sticking them down. Lay them right over the holes for the control cavities and things and you're just going to poke little holes through it. It's really easy to manipulate. Sometimes it'll kind of fold up on you, you might have to start over again, but in general it's, it's pretty easy to work with. lay it all down. I overlap kind of a lot uh, just because I'm a little bit extra paranoid. And you can just take a pen or a screwdriver and poke holes for the controls. It's really easy to work with. Now this foil is touching each other and overlapping and stuff, so it's probably already making good contact, but as you can see I'm a little paranoid, so I'm going to put a dab of solder in between the two to, every time there's a joint just to make sure they're actually connected. So you'll notice I'm also doing the walls and just bending everything around. This stuff is, like I said, really easy to manipulate, so you can get all the different shapes just by shoving it in there, and if it doesn't cover, throw another piece of tape on there, it's fine. And. Uh, still carrying on the paranoia of putting a dab of solder every time these things touch. And now just take an X-Acto knife and scribe around the edge and you should be able to get a nice clean line out pull all the junk out of the way. Most of your cavity covers will already be shielded. If not, just stick some of this tape onto that. So this thing will be completely covered uh, between the cavity covers shielding and the shielding that's in here.
So now I'm going to test fit the control cavity cover and make sure that those little lumps of solder aren't in the way. And if they are, I'll just take them down and I'm flip over the guitar and start taking the pickups out. In this case, these EMGs have that easy solderless thing, but um, otherwise you just yank the, the entire wires out and it'd be okay. Okay, so now I've covered the entire pickup cavity with uh, the shielding tape. And uh, again, I'm gonna solder together all the different bits so I know it's connected well. And I'm gonna poke a hole from the pickup cavity to the electronic control cavity and run a ground wire through there so that I can tie those both together. In the end, all the shielding of the guitar is gonna be uh, equivalent of one single node. And you'll see I get this in the pickup cavities everywhere. And then I take uh, wires from each one of these shielding spots and solder a wire between them so I know they're all shielded to the same area. And in the end, I usually shield it to the bridge as well. After you lay the shielding down and if you're paranoid like me, solder between them. Um, start putting your parts back in. Make sure you don't short anything out because now you've got this giant conductive plate in there and you could accidentally short out maybe your volume pot to it. So be a little bit careful, but in general, you, you probably won't have that much of a problem with that. And this is Pipeline Audio signing out.